remember this was a mega push by the Bharatiya Janata Party ahead of the 2024 general elections. This is the Maha Jan Sampark Yatra that uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Bharatiya Janata Party are undertaking uh, and they have begun it from the pole bound state of Rajasthan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi currently in Ajmer uh, in front of a huge gathering of people. Remember this rally was announced celebrating nine years of uh, uh, the BJP in government in India and uh, this is something that uh, they have decided to begin their entire campaign from, from the pole bound state of Rajasthan. My colleague Arun Dhanta is joining us with all the details. Arun, from Pushkar, the Prime Minister has finally reached Ajmer. We can see a huge gathering of people. This becomes an important state for the Bharatiya Janata Party considering its goes to polls in uh, the coming few months. And also, the BJP does seem to have an edge over here considering the Congress is looking at anti-incumbency and a massive infighting between Ashok Gehlot and Sachin Pilot. Well, uh, that's right. And, you know, in fact, we've seen in the past that how BJP uh, considers, uh, uh, you know, each state uh, very seriously, even if they know that they have uh, strong chances to come to bar in a state, but there will not be uh, any less efforts to actually, uh, you know, get the support of the voters in those states. And therefore, we are seeing that, uh, uh, you know, as you rightly mentioned, that things are little unsettled for the Congress party. And then, of course, there is anti-incumbency against them in Rajasthan. But still, uh, you know, Prime Minister Modi and the local leadership of uh, Bharatiya Janata Party, uh, you know, are not leaving any stone unturned. But, you know, they have uh, put in all the efforts to bring uh, as much as crowd possible for this uh, Prime Minister Modi's rally and to make it a grand one. Because this is not only uh, an ordinary election rally uh, of Prime Minister Modi. Uh, this is, remember... Uh, a rally which uh, will set the tone for uh, the one month longer program which BJP has planned on the completion of uh, nine years of Modi government. And therefore, uh, uh, you know, we are seeing that all the, you know, state leaders, uh, uh, you know, the likes of Asundara Rajay and the state chief, uh, C.P. Joshi, Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, Union Minister, they all are uh, uh, present uh, there uh, uh, on the stage. And Prime Minister Modi, after you know, uh, offering his prayers to Lord Brahma uh, Temple, reaching there in Ajmer and will be addressing the, the gathering. And uh, Prime Minister Modi, we are told, uh, will be, of course, talking about uh, the works which uh, his government has done in last uh, uh, nine years, what are the works and how those schemes have actually mm. benefited the people of this country. And remember, uh, you know, Ajmer, uh, uh, as we are told that, uh, uh, you know, close to 45 to 50 assembly segments uh, uh, is what the BJP is targeting through this uh, uh, rally in Ajmer, uh, which, uh, uh, which, 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 uh, you know, uh, which, which, uh, which, uh, which uh, is covering around eight Lok Sabha uh, seats. Uh, and, uh, and so therefore, uh, uh, you know, we can say that Rajasthan, uh, uh, you know, as uh, will go to polls in, in the month of uh, December, or in the end of November. Uh, so uh, Prime Minister Modi is uh, sounding the uh, poll bugle there in Rajasthan. And of course, in coming few days, we'll see uh, many such rallies of Prime Minister Modi in other parts of uh, the country as well. And we are told that close to 51 rallies which BJP uh, has planned for their top leaders, which includes uh, uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, BJP, JP Nadda, Rajnath Singh, uh, Smriti Rani. Uh, these leaders will go uh, to different states, will address rallies, and this will be uh, covered in this one month long program. And there will be various other uh, uh, programs which BJP has outlined for their leaders and for their karakartas, for their workers in uh, in next one month. So uh, from today onwards, of course, uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi is, uh, uh, you know, beginning that one month long program of Bharatiya Janata Party with this uh, rally, big rally in Ajmer. And in a short while from now, we, from now we will see Prime Minister Modi Absolutely. addressing this. Uh, Absolutely. This and Arun, while we wait for that address by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, we will uh, keep coming to you. Uh, but right now, let me bring in uh, my colleague Maria Shakil on the broadcast. Maria, like you were referring, this is a mega rally. Uh, the Prime Minister has finally reached Ajmer. We can see a gamut of people that are surrounding Prime Minister Narendra Modi waiting for him to address. Rajasthan becomes an important state for the BJP. Yes, that's right. And the presence of women in particular becomes important because in state after state, women have been the deciding factor for uh, brand Narendra Modi in which 
they have been uh, the beneficiary class and have voted overwhelmingly for BJP and have also decided uh, the entire direction of vote of the entire household. Uh, so the Modi voter, which is essentially, and, and to a great extent, the women of a particular state, we can see uh, their presence uh, overwhelmingly and in huge number is an indication of, of the emphasis that the BJP continues to put on women of a state. They are trying to send that message that if the women of a state are with the BJP, if they are present in the rallies of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, then it is a support that is going to come eventually for the BJP government. But in this particular state in Rajasthan, the BJP realizes that it has to be also about local leadership. Because only recently, Greha, the BJP went for that complete change in the organization in the state of Rajasthan, where the state president was changed, the leader of opposition in the state assembly was changed. They realized that there has to be a caste balance, uh, but at the same time ensuring that the local leadership uh, continues to be the face, while the central leadership, when they parachute uh, and, and, and become, continue to be the, the driving uh, force rather than being the leading force, and that is the distinction that the BJP is trying to make in the state of Rajasthan while having undergone that massive organizational change. Right. Uh, Maria, uh, while we, we speak about the Bharatiya Janata Party, it's also important to speak about the Congress. We know how there was a deliberate united front that was uh, being shown before the media and the rest of uh, India as far as uh, uh, Ashok Gehlot and Sachin Pilot are concerned. But considering that infighting has actually become out in the open, this is a public spat now, how much of an edge really, juxtaposing that, does the BJP have in the state of Rajasthan? Well, you know, the state of Rajasthan is that typical state which always votes out the incumbent. Yes. And that pattern hasn't really changed. Mm. Uh, so, you know, it, it is a state which is perhaps waiting to repeat that pattern. That is what is giving BJP that confidence. And the Congress party, whatever said and done, uh, may try and put up that united front. But we will, uh, know fully well that uh, Sachin Pilot has more or less made up his mind to send a strong message to his own party leadership. And today is the day, uh, you know, when his deadline actually expires. And then he will start making plans of, uh, you know, making what next in his own agenda as far as the state of Rajasthan is concerned. Having said that, look, Bria, uh, the, the Congress party's effort cannot be compared to what, you know, what they did in Karnataka. Whatever said and done, Siddharamaya and Mr. Uh, 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 D.K. Kumar try to send a message that despite push and pull, they will be able to put up a united front. Here, the division or the divided house is visible mm. because soon after that uh, photo, op, uh, photo op, that was very, very short-lived. We have seen how Ashok Gehloth went all out against Sachin Pilot. And Sachin Pilot's deadline also ends in the next 24 hours where he has said that action has to be taken against those who he believes are, uh, uh, are those who have, uh, you know, have been responsible for corruption in the state of Rajasthan. So I think whether he would be forming uh, or floating his own party or, or out, hmm. but that is there is an eerie, uneasy calm in hmm. that truth. Um, the truth isn't really there. Hmm. Uh, it is very different from what Siddharamaya and D.K. Shivkumar achieved in the state of Karnataka. But while you say that, Maria, while you talk about if at all Sachin Pilot decides, decides to sever ties with the Congress, he would definitely not go ahead and move with the BJP. But in this Rajasthan duopoly between Congress and the BJP, is there really a scope for a third party as far as the state is concerned? Look, Sachin Pilot does have a considerable influence in this entire belt that he represents. He's seen as the face of Dosa and this entire region. Mm. Uh, he's seen as a strong face in that belt, and he has also served as the state president of the Congress party, uh, a former uh, deputy CM as well. So he has that say among the people. He's seen also that as a youth face. And before the last election, we have uh, Sachin Pilot in many ways was seen as the one who gave that fillip to the state uh, uh, unit in the state of Rajasthan. Uh, so whether there will